Hey all, John Bellamy here. Listen, I hope you are all excited and are ready for the holiday season. Uh, whether you're working through like me or if you are actually taking some time off, what I wanted to do in today's video is just give you a couple of ideas, a couple of things that you can think about doing when it comes to your marketing, your um, specifically your marketing and sales automation um, as we head over to these holiday periods. Now, um, what I wanted to focus on first was if we look at the keep um, sales and marketing system because I know uh, most of you are using that and if you're not reach out to me and we can have a chat about that Really, there's a couple of things that I want you to think about from a housekeeping point of view as we head over the holidays So whether you're sending emails to your database over the holidays or if you're just thinking about Utilizing this time to look at the systems and everything that you have in place um, This is going to be quite useful So number one what I want you to think about now is a great time for your database cleanup So what I'm talking about there is looking through your data Database and starting to go um, what is the segmentations looking like so uh, basic segmentation is have we got this set up so we can identify clearly and easily who are our prospects or our leads who are our clients and then who are our others like suppliers partners whatever that might be so that's something that you could do immediately that won't take too much time uh, in your in your database like keep CRM to go through that over this holiday period and the reason we want to do that is so that when we come into 2023 you've got a very clean start you can you can start to very simply identify I need to send a email to my prospect list bang, here they are, let's go. So that's the first thing that I want you to think about. The second thing that I want you to think about right now is start looking once again through your database and identify those individuals um, or companies, for example, who you may have had conversations with, sales conversations with specifically, over like the last sort of three to nine months that didn't buy. Okay, so for you, it might be a handful of people. It could be a couple of hundred people. Heck, it could even be a thousand, thousands of people, like depending on your database size from there. But what I want you to do is identify those people. So these are people that, once again, you have had a sales conversation with, okay? You have presented your offer, whatever that offer may be, and for whatever reason, they didn't buy at that time. So what I want you to do is compile that list, apply a tag, and the tag could literally be 10 dot marketing, um, prospects to follow up and re-engage. Okay, so you can create that tag. Once again, we wanna just segment that database and have that ready so that when we come back into the new year, um, whether it's the third, whether it's the ninth, the 15th, whatever that date is for you, we've got a list of people or a list of companies that we can now look at re-engaging and put a campaign um, behind the scenes there inside of Keep so we can start the ground running and start re-engaging these people and say, hey, you know what? When we last spoke, it wasn't the right time for us to do some work together. Maybe it is now. Here's a couple of things that you might wanna be aware of. So there's two things right there. Um, segmenting your database, prospects, leads, clients, others, and then ultimately identifying people within your database that you can re that you can re-engage as we head into 2023 um, to start going and generating sales as quickly as you can. Um, so there's two big things there. I wanted to give you a third one and final one right now. What I want you to think about is what could one system be? What is that one system for you that you could start mapping out, getting clearer on, even just um, percolating on the idea of um, that you could go and then implement into your business in quarter one or ideally January of 2023. So for a lot of people that we're speaking with right now, um, where we're seeing the fall off is that fulfillment system. So what I mean by that specifically is when someone purchases a product or service from you, what is the fulfillment like? What's that next steps? Do we welcome them? Um, what are the follow-up emails in place? Do we ask them for a referral? Do we ask them for a lead? Do we ask them to review us? on Google, on Facebook, on LinkedIn. Um, so that could be one of the campaigns for you or it could be a completely different campaign. Maybe for you it's a lead magnet campaign. But what I want you to think about is literally one system that you could go and implement in your business so that we can start the ground running into 2023. All right, so let's recap this really quickly once again for you. Number one, let's segment our database over the Christmas break. What we wanna do is identify our prospects and leads. We wanna identify our clients and then our others like suppliers, partners, all of those areas. The second thing that we wanna do is we wanna go back through our sales pipeline. So people that we have spoken to in the last three to nine months 
that we've presented an offer and they've said no, and we want to tag those people. We want to segment those people. So coming into January, we can run a campaign for them. And thirdly, and finally, we want to create or think about a system that we can create heading into Q1, ideally January of 2023, a system that we can create that is going to take the weight off. It's going to make life easier for us as a business owner. And the example that I gave you there was a fulfillment system. So when someone buys, what happens next? Um, so that's it. I'm going to leave it there for you all right now. It's uh, John Bellamy here. Uh, like I said, we're working through, okay? We're working through Christmas. Other than the public holidays, uh, we're going to be here. So if you've got any questions, if you want to jump on Zoom, if you want to learn more about Keep or anything like that, um, just comment below this video or book in a time with me, reach out, email, whatever you want to do, and I'd be happy to jump on the phone and help you out from that aspect. Have a great Christmas. Have a great New Year. And I look forward to speaking with you really soon. Bye for now.